Sierra Network Radio, the true Sierra Leonean community radio in the diaspora. All right, we continue with the program. Good morning, Salon, where they come to you from 98.1 FM. After that report day yesterday, Usai um, supported them from the East Camp demonstrate, say they support the party in decision. We wake this morning for get a press release from the office of the president. Usai, he used his supreme authority as president of Salon for sack the vice president. Well, on the line for confirm this press release, we get Abdullah Beite from the office of the government spokesman. Good morning, Mr. Beite. Yeah, good morning, Asma. Good morning, listeners. Um, we get the press release. Usai President Koma um, don't sack vice, first and vice president Sam Sumana. You will just confirm, ma'am? Yes, um, the issue a late uh, press release yesterday where the reason I post my SLPC radio and television we come off from the office of the president we indicate say they don't relieve um Chief Alaji Samuel Samsumana of imposition, and the press release cites the relevant sections in the Constitution, where the first now section 40 of Cap 6, 1991, where give President the supreme authority, and also President use sections 41B of the same Constitution, and he cites so we back another thing about the appointment of a VP under Section 54, Subsection 5 of the very Constitution, as indicated in the press release. Um, Mr. Beyete, um, me not so constitution are posting, but um, you don't follow, and also I don't follow the social media. Um, this particular section where President used for SAC, um, in Vice President, say, um, this section they talk about, um, Candidates, and as we speak now, that's where they will to be the one for the position. As we speak now, that time they, um, Sam Sumana, not to be um, candidate to the contest for election, but a city vice president that a misuse um, this particular section. What do you go say about this? I would rather just cite section 41B of the very 1991 constitution, which say for let somebody become a president and a vice president, you must belong to a political party. And we all know, say, the APC party, we don't use Article 8 of the 1995 Constitution, where they expel uh, um, the former vice president. So that don't tell you, say, president even cites that, not the press release with an issue yesterday. So when it comes to the constitutional uh, ingredients of this, I would rather just bear, say, president's eloquently cite Section 41B, for let it use in supreme authority as chief executive of the state with the constitution gam under section 40. Um, judiciary for interpret the constitution and not the executive. Well, all the more reason why I tell you, say, I will not attach an interpretation taking that into consideration. But as I say, a press release doesn't mean an interpretation of the constitution, rather a citation using the constitution itself with the hope for see now when we go um see the vice um president be appointed well the president don't refer we to section 54 subsection 5 of the constitution that today in consultations with a very party way on an, uh, that ticket say he come into governance and that very shortly then we'll announce the vice president for the republic so um the president gets power for sack vice president? As I say, the president, according to the press release, he used Section 40, where he the supreme executive authority. Then he cites Section 41, subsection uh, section B, where say a member for vice president and president must be of a political party. And he say he take into consideration that the vice president former stands expelled from a political party under whose ticket he assumed that office. And he also cites section 54, subsection 5 of the very constitution that he will appoint a new vice president. So, and all of this, I just want to let the public know, say, it is subject to the Rubicon of uh, the laws of this country, 
because we have a supreme law in this country, we have a constitution. So which means the president not will use what you can call ultra virus. Uh, we have powers beyond the, within the constitution game. I refer you again to the social media, uh, Mr. Beriti, we um very intense right now with the current situation. Also, they add, you say, no sign or day in the constitution, we give power to the president for um sack the vice president, but um proceed your day for if you don't want um, for follow. Well, um, the press release speaks for itself. Um, those are legal issues. And I'm not going to the social media because the social media is a platform where everybody can go right, whether you're a legal luminary, whether you're a uh, petty trader, everybody. But the bottom line here is uh, maybe this is an opportunity if anything in our constitution we're silent. Now that we also have a constitutional review committee they go on, I think the uh, judge Justice Cowan and they take this into consideration as well. But as I say, I will only speak within the confines of the press release we come more from State House last night. All right, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. All right, Abdullah Beyete from the Office of the Government Spokesman, he confirmed the sacking of the Vice President. Usai President Kouma used in supreme executive power for sack um, Alaji Samsumana.